hi guys welcome to another daily vlog um well i say that like i've been doing them but i have another vlog i should say it's not daily but i figured i should probably start practicing vlogging before vlogmas so by the time i am at vlogmas it's entertaining nathan just arrived at work and it's storming bad outside so i wanted to make sure that he told me when he got there um it's an early morning for me it's 6 42 pudgy has been waking us up early well he woke us up before nathan had to get up which was at five something anyway so he's going me up at like four so i've been taking him out so that nathan can sleep um nathan did take him out once though i will say that like credit to nathan um and then he'll wake me up like two hours after that um after nathan's left to let him out again but then he runs into my mom's room because he wants to be with the other dogs so i'm like mom build that <laughs> no she offered to so i'm very thankful for that but um today i just kind of go out to sleep so i'm playing stardew valley um i started another world because my other world is like 16 years in and i just kind of want to see everybody's heart scenes again um even though i have another world that i'm doing for videos that i will be seeing them again but i didn't want to wait um and i've been watching some youtube and yeah so i thought i would just take you along with my day and yeah let's have a good day together <laughs> i have been thinking a lot about vlogmas and i honestly i really need to be thinking about vlogween it's gonna sneak up on me and ugh, i might be going to new york in october so it's like i need to have my stuff ready today is supposed to be 90 degrees guys my mustache is violently dark in this video today um i'm gonna have to shave that anyway because it's cold for now um i lit a fall candle from last year i did a little bit of makeup um i'm taking a break from stardew but honestly i really don't know what i'm doing <laughs> i think i might make a list of video ideas um and maybe i'll film some today i'm sad because i really want to do my podcast idea with nathan but he won't he hasn't had really time so okay guys so um i know we're in my like normal filming setup but it is still the vlog um i did get a comment saying that they wanted to see my pet books that i mentioned in my room tour video and i think it was my room tour video and um so i thought instead of just doing the whole video i would show them in this vlog I think I might have mentioned them in a really old vlog, but let's actually just go through them. So I have one for Pudgy and two for Garlic. Um, the Pudgy one is 2022 and then the Garlic ones are 2021 and 2022. So let's just go in order. And so Garlic is first because we have the Garlic 2021 and I love this picture so much. She was a baby baby kitten and we put a Pepsi bottle cap on her head and it was a little hat. And you can see Halloween blanket in the background, which is so funny. And this was actually at Nathan's mom's house. We were visiting and we took her with us because we didn't want to be apart from our baby. And then this is the first picture. <laughs> and then these two, this is a picture I posted to my story asking people for name suggestions, even though I pretty much already knew I wanted to name her Garlic. Funny little face, the third eyelid. Here's me laying with her. Look how tiny she is. Oh, Cookie got groomed, so we're gonna have to go see because my mom said I love it. Which is impressive, because I normally don't, but we tried a new groomer. Um, anyway, I should make a cookie book, but that one, I have like five million books, because she's so old. And then this is us on the way to Nathan's house. You can see her down there. And Nathan, when he had a mustache. <laughs> oh, here's more. Oh, first trip to where Nathan's house is. It's more of her being absolutely microscopic. She used to be such a cuddle bug. She's not as much now, but I feel like this is story time at school and I'm the teacher. Oh, uh, and then our first Christmas in our own apartment with garlic. I love this photo of her. She looks just like a fox to me, like the way her face looks. She just looks like a fox. And of course her foot. She always used to have her third eyelids out. I'm not sure why. Baby. A little bit older but absolute baby oh another absolute baby with her belly up and her toes and then her <laughs> christmas sweater in front of our first christmas tree together her with her little bloop tongue out and her belly she loves water and baths i mean we haven't actually given her a bath but she loves trying to take baths and then 
Nathan holding garlic the first day. I'm pretty sure it was the first day. And then the cover again. That is garlic 2021. Now garlic 2022. <laughs> the quality definitely goes down because it's just harder to take pictures. There's her sleeping with Nathan before Pudgy. More cuddling and Christmas with garlic. Oh, and there's Pudgy and garlic at Christmas. So only some of these are before uh, Pudgy, but like, see this one, they're kind of out of order. They're not in order. This one's in the apartment still. And this one. So before Pudgy, of course. Cause I guess I kind of found the pictures backwards all from the apartment. With her tongue hanging out of there. This one I love. She looks like a little like dragon or something with her nostrils. And then of course her tongue out, so cute. Mm -hmm. These pictures are after she got neutered, so her belly was shaved. And then the last picture is from Halloween. Move and hold her. So yeah, very out of order, but funny. The last one is Pudgy 2022. And this is when we got him. And this is the year we got him, I mean. Um, us on a little walk. I think I vlogged this trip, so. This is when we first got him. He was very scared. Cute little squishy face. Him in a Halloween sweater. Him with a little uneven lip. Him sleeping with Nathan. <laughs> uh, pumpkin spice and everything nice. Hats. Us on that same trip. And then it was me attempting to put the hat on. And look at his tongue. It's just so funny. Him in the golden light. Some Christmas hat pictures. Can you tell he did not like the hat? These two pictures look the same, but they are different. <laughs> More Christmas. Oh my god, he looks so puppy -ish, tiny in this picture. More Christmas hat picture. I love those pictures, so I'm glad they're printed for me to always have. Gets a little car sick. And then this was Nathan FaceTime me with Pudgy. I love this photo so much, but look, his face is all squished up. And then this is the last pages. So cute. So yeah, these are kind of just like um, memory scrapbooks, but also kind of like funny things to have on the coffee table, you know? <laughs> I do also have a book of the photos from this photo shoot. All photo shoot in November 2022. Just, you know, if I ever had children and they wanted to see me young kind of thing. And also it's just nice. I really enjoyed those photos. So I wanted them printed instead of just on my phone because what if I lose them? <laughs> so yeah. Now apparently I'm gonna love cookie. So let's go see together. Oh, so funny. <laughs> Sit. Scarred from the injury day. Yeah, cookie sit. Pudgy, stop it so I can look. <laughs> she looks so funny. She looks like a different breed, honestly. Yeah. She looks like one of those like terriers, like a, sh a schnauzer or something. Come here. Come here. I mean, as far as the picture that you gave me, that picture, yeah. like, I told her to take all of the hair really short just because of the <laughs> Her ears. <laughs> So I think it'll grow out real cute. Yeah. 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 She did take it really short. Like you can see her skin color under her. I know. <laughs> and I'm thinking maybe it'll grow back more blonde. This, or something. this bandana is so cute. It really is. I um she did a great job, and I thought, you know, because the pet smart people are like, well, we don't like them. Um, so close because of their skin. I don't know, she didn't, she didn't care. Yeah. Guys, there's nothing to eat. And I only have water, but I've really been craving a Coke. <laughs> also, you guys will see these in my next, well, not next, depending on when this goes up. My sixth Stardew episode. But these are my new headphones, I'm so excited. They're like a cream and caramel cream and biscuit color. And I love, I'm so into cream right now, cream and pink. Peaches and strawberries and cream is the vibe. 
Okay guys, sorry I forgot to film me getting the package, but I got a package from my friend Kenzie, so I filmed an unboxing of that. So go ahead and check out that video. It was a gift for my birthday since she wasn't able to make it to the party. Um, and she did a really good job, so go check that out. <laughs> okay guys, Nathan's glasses broke last night, so we're getting ready to go to, go to ex an exam because he doesn't know his prescription to order new ones. Let's hope this is good. Guys, I got, it says that on TikTok I got a DM request from Dylan Mulvaney, even though Dylan doesn't follow me back. And also like, why would, it was like the three automated, like, you know, if you click the little waving thing, it sends it to people. It's like, why would they send that to me? Maybe it was an accident or maybe it's a hacker or maybe everybody got that. Like, I'm so confused because why would they DM me? like my shout out to hard candy they sent me a really awesome package Ooh, no. okay guys i didn't film much of our outing it was kind of boring hello which for me you know is disappointing but anyway right now i'm warming some soup on the stove nathan's warming some in the microwave <laughs> and i'm gonna try to eat this see how i like it hey guys currently crocheting a scarf uh, it's a little bit hard because I want it to be super long and thick, but ow, my hands are really cramping from it, like really bad. And I'm watching one of uh, Adam McIntyre's videos on the whole Johnny situation, which if you don't know, I'm not going to get into it, but it's getting really interesting, so <laughs> I'm going to have to probably bleed into tomorrow as well. I've got to get this practice in. I really do like making these videos, but my life is just so not eventful. <laughs> By the way, guys, I got the last nail off the old nail polish um and i was thinking about something that i wanted to say and then i realized honestly a lot of times the things i say have zero substance to them and are super boring not unique or original ideas at all and like why am i even speaking these words um but you know what i think some of you guys like it or like you listen anyway and you like my videos like you click like so um i really appreciate you guys for that and I hope I can create good content. I have some ideas of how I kind of want to start doing things, but harder than it looks. <laughs> and a lot of times, honestly, because of that difficulty, I'm like, am I just not good at it? Am I just bad at it? Am I just not cut out for this? Like, I know it's not that, it's that people put in a lot of hard work and try really hard. And I'm like, I can do that too. I just have to try. So I think, I'm going to stop vlogging for tonight and then tomorrow I'm going to make the shift and see, I'm going to attempt to do a video like how I want to and we'll see if it's any good but I can't promise that I'm going to keep doing it but I'm going to try because yeah I think I might just need a few more pieces of equipment to make it consistent and then yeah I want like a few more like type of tripod things maybe like one like my ring light that's tall but doesn't have the ring and I can just and it's a lot sturdier you know stuff like that so we'll see what I can do Good morning, guys. Today, I don't know what it is, but everything is irritating me, okay? Um, every YouTube video I click on, um, everything I drop, obviously, um, everything I'm doing has irritated me, but hopefully that can turn around for today. Um, today, I don't have any plans that I know of. Um, I don't know. Um, the lip I'm currently wearing is from those hard candy lip pout melts um in the shade the one i really like it actually i've never really had a good nude lip color and i like this one a lot so i did order two new manga because i've been having kind of withdrawals um it's like weird because part of, me, part of me hasn't been wanting to do any of my interests my hobbies and stuff like that like reading my manga but there are two storylines that i'm like absolutely dedicated to that i want to read and then i also ordered connie glenn's book her first book in the series because it was actually not that expensive and i've been wanting to read it forever so i think i'll do a review video on that 
um yeah so i hope today is a good day bye i think i'm gonna switch to watching rewatching carmilla the youtube series um which I totally recommend, especially around fall. I always rewatch it around fall. It's a modern kind of retelling of the story Carmilla, which is a really old story. It's about a vampire. Um, and if you like LGBT, you know, content, um, this, you know, has like non binary characters. Um, the main characters are like lesbian. So. I mean, it's not like inappropriate, but it's just nice. It's just a lot of um, representation for a bunch of different types of people. And then it has like, you know, conflict that um, that those types of people go through. And it's just um, really good. But like, it's also a really good mystery. And I honestly really love the storytelling. And it's like, it all takes place in one room, but the storytelling is just so good. So I recommend it a lot. So good news, it looks like the um, Halloween bed spread will finally be arriving so I can do my Halloween bedroom video. I might as well just include that in Vlogoween. Yeah. So I can get ahead in Vlogoween a little bit um, and I'll show you that once it's done. So it might be like a little bit of a spoiler actually, maybe I won't show you. Um, but yeah, feeling better, I'm feeling better. <laughs> My hair looks greasy, but I just washed it last night and it's a little bit wet still. Okay guys, I'm gonna strip the bed in hopeful preparation that the stuff comes. And then we're gonna have the candy corn squish so this one's going away for now. Yet another example of everything stressing me out. The vacuum sucked up a pen. It didn't go up there, but it had made me have to stop. And then it unplugged itself from the wall. And my cords all fell in the wrong spot. It's not my day. And it's like things like that make me not want to attempt to film like the normal videos that I have that I want to film today because I'm like, my mood is going to come across and it's just not going to be my best quality it's not just it's going to be not what i'm proud of and i'm like should i save it and here we are full circle me back in my pink robe ending the vlog thank you so much for watching i love you and i'll see you next time